So we're leaving the movies. We're at a brew house. And um, they brew beer here. <laughs> as you can see. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool. And so... Eric is watching his post credit scenes. I'm waiting on him to come out now. Oh yeah, they're coming out now. So we can finally go see Tana Bear. <laughs> so that was quick. I forgot to show y'all the name. It's called Flicks Brew House. So. Girl, you don't know how much stress to get you out of here. Well, y'all, she's in her car seat <laughs> with all her wires coming from everywhere. But that's okay. That's okay. We got her to fit in it. She passed her, um, the harness test, I guess. To see if it's gonna buckle tight on her so it fits her well and uh <laughs> she is out of there y'all she had her food she's so ashy i'm gonna have to rub her down look at this look at how they got my baby looking that's a mess yeah i'll hook her up let me cover you up girl i don't want to embarrass you on the internet <laughs> okay but yeah, so let me, hold on, let me flip. But yeah, so I think we're, everything's going well. Um, I think we're at, that was the last thing. Oh, yeah, I have to watch a CPR video. And um, today, um, it's Sunday. So y'all see this tomorrow. So I gotta watch my CPR video and then I think that's all I have to do here. Then I'm gonna take her car seat. I'm gonna go get my car detailed and install the get the car seat installed. Um, Cause I'm never moving that thing. Um, trying to think. I want to tell y'all now. Yeah, yeah. I go ahead. Okay. So yeah, last night. Okay. Oh, I look so tired, y'all. I was exhausted yesterday, Saturday, because. <sighs> Um, this whole car seat debacle. So I was supposed to get my car detailed yesterday. I was supposed to bring the car seat in, get the car seat test done, and then we were gonna install it. And everything, perfect day. Saturday, nobody's doing anything. My husband's off work, you know, whatever. We get up here and the charge nurse comes in and tells me that my car seat won't fit her. Um, she can count on her hand how many times she's approved the baby to go home with the convertible car seat, the three-step, or y'all know the three, you know, because it, it grows with the baby, grow, I, I don't forgot what they call those kind of car seats. Um, but I've tried, y'all know, I'm all about convenience, and I wasn't, I didn't want the little carrier car seat because I was going to have to turn around and buy another one. Like, I just didn't want want to do that. So I wanted to get one car seat, and it just grows with her, and that's her seat until you know for years anyway so she told us to go buy a new car seat <laughs> and so that she can approve her for discharge because she does not feel comfortable discharging her in this seat that santana's in right now who got money laying around like i know car seats ain't ain't much money i guess it's that's depending on who you know everybody's preference or whatever but that's you know to me they're expensive and i'm just like we don't have money to throw away like that and no i don't want to go use something and return it <laughs> i don't want to be trifling no if it says that if it's a five pounder my baby's eight pounds y'all tender bear is eight pounds three ounces now so i was just like no i'm uh we're gonna figure this out so she left the room and just left us for dead and luckily the on the nurse that's assigned to Santana was like on her hands and knees helping us. Like she couldn't figure it out, but the charge nurse 
came to my door. She didn't even walk fully in the room. She just came to the door and was just like, no, that's not going to work. Count on my hand, blah, 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 and went on about her business. And so I turned on good old YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Um, and found out <laughs> that there's an infant. What do they call it? On the belt, I guess it's a little, you had to adjust it. It's an adjustment tool that you put in for when you're using infants. And so that tightens the harness over them. So I'm going to probably have to show a video or something. Because I'm like, how many people have they turned around and made them go spend money that they probably didn't need to do? Because they couldn't find the right adjustment. And it's hidden and it's a big complaint. When I did Google it. It was like the number one complaint, but it's an easy fix, an easy find if someone would just research and look. How do you work at a hospital and you discharge babies every day? There are only about five or six car seats on the market, child. Like, they, it ain't that deep. And either they need to get well-versed in car seats or and, and adjustments and how they work. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the fix is. But me and my husband stayed here yesterday and worked through that thing and watched the videos and figured it out and called that same nurse back in here. And do you know she was like, well, let me be sure that um, what you guys did to the car seat is actually safe. Do you have the manual? Yes, ma'am, we do. Here's the manual. She turned that manual upside down, over, under, looking, looking through it, trying to find a flaw. And I'm like, that's how it works. You look at the YouTube video on my phone. Oh, well, I just have to be sure before I approve this. And so she made, with all that debacle, um, we ended up not being able to do the car seat test because no one, I did not know that you have to, um, she has to sit in this car seat for an hour and 30 minutes. And she it can't be while she's eating, which she eats over an hour. So we just wasted like a whole day. And it was like 6 o'clock at night. We had got here at 1 p.m. We went to see Ant-Man at like 10.45. And we came straight to the hospital. And we had been like, we did not plan on. I thought the car seat test would just see if she could fit in it for 10 minutes or something. I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> no one tells you this stuff. So she has to sit in here. And luckily she's comfortable. Y'all saw her. She's asleep. But I was just like... The drama of it all, like, and how are you going to turn me around and make me go find $150 or whatever they cost um, for the carriers? I don't know. I didn't I didn't research them because I knew I didn't want that kind of car seat. But it's going to make me have to go find money just to get her up out of here. And so that was a lot. <laughs> so I'm tired, y'all, because by the time I got home, I was just like over it. And I did go, um, it was my friend's birthday, so we went about 7 o'clock, no, no, not 7, we left here at 7. About 9 o'clock, I went to my friend's, I had to go, it was her birthday, so I had to go, and that was our last weekend out, so my husband and I were trying to do a two-in-one, two you know, just be sure we do something, because our lives are about to change, like, get, Ten Bear is going to have, like, equipment, so I can't really be running <laughs> around or leaving her with people and things like that so but we we hey we got through it she's in her car seat i had an extra day which is today sunday to bring it bring it all back in together but y'all know my life is planned and i write everything now so yesterday threw me all the way off i was stressed out and when we got home after we went to my friend to visit uh for my friend's birthday I was out of there. I was knocked out because I had to be up here at 9 a.m. So I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. But after I get done with this, um, we'll take the car seat. Yeah, I just told y'all that. I'm going to go get my car detailed and then I'll get the car seat installed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to lay it down. Like, I, I'm done. I'm done for the, today, the weekend. I'm over this. Tomorrow, I can't believe it. It's probably going to be an emotional day. Tomorrow I get to room in with her in a different room. She'll be out of this room and it'll be like they're here, but they're not here, the nurses. And so it'll really be me and just Tana Bear <laughs> thugging it out. So I cannot wait to show you guys that. And I'm probably, most likely, 
I don't know yet, but I'm more than likely going to film um, my labor and delivery story. I was talking to V about it, and I was just like, I know that's going to be emotional. I don't know if I have the energy to, to put into that video, or I just want to be sure it's done right. And I want to be sure I tell my story right and <laughs> go through the events. And I don't want to, if, if it's going to make me get too emotional around the baby, I don't think I want to do that. But I want the baby in the video. So... That's my hold up for that. But anyway, y'all, this is a lot of rambling. But I have to just let y'all know, let y'all in on the drama of it all. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next clip. Ashy. You got ashy legs. Explain to us that there was zero chance of survival at this point. Oh, wow. It's very hard to think that, you know, there's a little girl that, you know, might not be making me come in and say goodbye. Having been through this situation and having been through everything we've been through, I feel like it's our mission now to make sure that as many parents know CPR as possible because we knew CPR we were able to sustain her life until the paramedics came and took over. On October 7th, 2009, she walked for the first time. When she walked, I just pretty much knew that everything was gonna be completely fine. She learned CPR. All right, y'all, so I'm wrapping up um, my day with Tana Bear. She's asleep or acting asleep. Um, so yeah, I pretty much condensed down everything, take taking everything to the car, got a room cleaned out up here, and um, yeah, <laughs> um, I'll probably pump a little bit before I leave, so I can leave her at least one feeding, and um, Tomorrow's the big day, so I guess I'll go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm sure it's lengthy. Um, and oh, Tanner Bear wants to end the vlog too. Look at her. Y'all see that? Ain't nobody bothering her. I'm not, and then she don't want the pacifier, so I don't know what to do with her. And then she stops. Welcome to motherhood, right? So yeah, we're gonna end the vlog. Thank y'all for watching. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking with